like that. Uh, I got this from Mary Vilbon at the Chamber of Commerce. You think as a past president, I would get such a thing. You were you were only the interim president. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have a conversation with Jerry. <laughs> All right. Well, are you ready to start? Sure. We have a, I need to have something to read about this being on Zoom and everything. Um. Well, well there's not. There's no like. Yeah, I don't. I don't have that. Okay. But. We do that for uh, conservation. I know you should probably to talk to but it's such and such and such yeah. And such and such. We're 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 remote, but people from the public. It was posted as a public meeting for them to come here if they wanted to participate. It. It's Perfect. not a okay. remote public meeting, okay. so I'd like to call the order. Uh, call to order the uh, January eleventh meeting of the town of Yarmouth uh, Land Disposition Committee, and uh, we're going to start by asking Kyle to give us. Uh, an opening statement. Yeah, so just as a little background, because we haven't met in a while, I think Mar uh, April of last year was the last time we met uh, when you guys reviewed, I think it was four parcels in total uh, that we had requests. Uh, you uh, voted to recommend disposition of three of them and voted to retain the one at Zero Old Townhouse Road for wellhead protection. Uh, so just a quick update on the three. The finance department is still working through the whole disposition of those three. Um, so those haven't been officially uh, disposed of yet, but they are working through it. Um, two of them should be pretty straightforward. The one that might be a little bit complicated is that one off of 6A because it had all those kind of title issues and whatnot. So they got to get that cleared up before they can dispose of that. But the other two should should be disposed of hopefully in the next few months. But I can't really put a timeline on it because every time I do, it goes past that timeline. So. <laughs> So, uh, so then uh, the committee was going to turn their attention to looking at the list of the, the comprehensive, comprehensive list of town owned properties and try to figure out a way to publicize and promote that make it transparent for the public. So I went through the list. Um, you know, the majority of the properties are protected in some way or another or have some sort of deed restriction. So as I outline, let me pull up the, uh, the memo here. And share it so Christine can see it. So as outlined in this memo, this is how we uh, we kind of went through, um, or I went through, and uh, we narrowed it down based off of them not having any restrictions whatsoever and uh, not having a current use to look at the parcels that could have some sort of could either be disposed of or used for something else or what have you, um, and so kind of. Long story short, it really, and we also only looked at parcels an acre or more. Um, so we're not kind of wasting our time looking at half acre parcels that isn't really going to have much of an impact on anything. Um, the reality is a lot of, most of these are tax foreclosure parcels and kind of by their very nature, they don't really have a lot of value to them because if they did, they would have gotten sold before they went to tax foreclosure. Of course, that's not the case for every single one, but for the vast majority. So long story short, we narrowed it down to these six parcels that are listed on the memo uh, that you guys will be reviewing probably over the course of the next three meetings. Um, so we solicited input from the various town staff on these six parcels. Uh, we originally included also a portion of the Bayberry Hills golf course in our, um, in our review and we got uh, staff comments for that. But as your charge is just to recommend whether a parcel is disposed of or retained, not necessarily what the use would be if it is retained. Uh, we eliminated that one from your review because the Bayberry Hills parcel is um, restricted to only municipal or I think recreational use. So um, it can't just be sold for something. So um, 97, article 97 purchase? Uh, I think it might've, I forget the exact mm -hmm. uh, means of acquisition, but it is restricted. So there's nothing for you guys really to review on that one. So we're starting today with Zero Christmas Way and Zero Old Townhouse Road, they are located close to one another and they're kind of kind of related. So we figured that would be a good first couple to review. Um, yeah, I think they are budding. Um, so if you want to go on to your agenda, I think if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. But uh, that, that would be my quick update to where we are. Thank you, Kyle, very much. Um, again, first, excuse me. First item on the agenda is basically what you said, review of town-owned parcels for potential Oops. disposition. And we would um, 
vote on these today. Um, just for the committee's uh, information, um, conversations with Kyle, we've uh, we've gone forward with looking at two parcels per meeting. Or words, I'll take us through for two more meetings. Mm -hmm. This one today. Uh, first parcel on the agenda is Zero Christmas Way, parcel number 99.103. And I believe, Kyle, uh, you had some uh, input from Town DPW on this property. Yeah, so um, some various input. First of all, uh, Kathy, as always, gave us a very detailed kind of background on the property and some zoning information. Um, DPW recommended to retain this property because it's in the zone two. Uh, protection zone for drinking water um, and then also both the library planning committee and housing expressed an interest in using this parcel um, with the caveat that it would need to be used in conjunction with the other parcel that you'll be reviewing today because that's where access would be provided through the old townhouse parcel so there is uh, interest from you know various town departments to retain the parcel okay. given that is there any discussion from the committee is the interest only if they can be combined? Uh, yes, because that would be needed for the access. Okay. Although, uh, you know, DPW would still have interest in retaining it for zone exactly. two protection. Yeah. Uh, can you bring up the assessor's trap or the uh, plot plan that shows both this and the other together? I think it's, uh, there's one more that shows the two of them. Okay. Uh, that, uh, Ariel, yeah, here we go. Uh, this is it. So um, if I can, I happen to have some historical knowledge of this. I think I've shared it with most of you. Um, back in the 2004, five, six time frame, seven, um, conservation had wanted to have this designated as conservation land. And we looked at it as to before we did anything, what other uses it could be. Housing had a kind of expressed an interest. Part of the issues was access. Old Townhouse Road, it's going to cost like a million dollars to put Old Townhouse Road through because we don't have access via uh, Fenway or uh, some of the other roads. And if you notice on 99, there's a little, there's no frontage on any of these roads to give you access. But be that it may never happen. Um, and I think. From my personal perspective and looking at these, uh, this is one of those that I would recommend we just leave alone. Um, it's, it's serving a purpose as well protection by not being developed now. I wouldn't put a, a restriction on it because um, we don't know what 100 years from now is going to be. And, or in 50 years when they do have sewering in the air, it, may, it might be something we could look at beyond our own lifetimes. That, if we restrict it to any use now, um, it might be detrimental. Right now, my attitude is it ain't broke, it ain't, don't fix it, don't sell it, just leave it just the way it is. It serves somewhat of a purpose for conservation without a restriction on it. And it also acts as well protection. I apologize for that. So, Jim, is it fair to say that um, what you're recommending is that we do not recommend disposition of this property? Correct. I also, but with that, I, I recommend we do not dispose of it, but I also recommend that we do not designate it for any specific use. Which, which we wouldn't do, because that's not our charge. Right. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Sue? Christine? Uh, I took a walk of uh, both of these properties. I was very disappointed with the amount of dumping that's going on in these properties. Along the neighbors seem to be dumping all along. I don't know what we can do about it, but um, both of these properties are along, uh, I'm going to call it like a green belt for water protection. So, you know, th there is a certain ratio between building and not building in order for the town to have groundwater protection. So it's, it's kind of like the same argument as the entrance going into Flex Pond. Uh, I don't think the argument may be as strong, but while we have the opportunity to keep properties for water protection, I'm inclined to go in that direction. Uh, the property, you can see there's parcels all over the place here that 
are under the auspices of the Yarmouth Conservation Trust, which means that they want to, yeah, they want to protect, you know, the groundwater. So that that's one of the main considerations in leaving land fallow. Thank you very much. So would someone care to make a motion to uh, recommend that the um, town does not dispose of this, these two properties? Um, I, I make the motion that we do not dispose of the properties. We hear a second. Second. Thank you. Um, so that was Jim and Sue. Okay. Roll call vote. Okay, we'll make a roll call vote. Um, all in favor? Excuse me. Sue? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Jim? Aye. Christine? Aye. Okay. Rick? Aye. All right. I'm sorry? Can I ask a follow up question? Of course you may. Christine, with the dumping that is going on there, is that trash or is that just underbrush and grass and stuff like that? What kind of dumping is going on there? And the neighbors seem to be just dumping right over the fence. Is this trap dump, they're dumping all along the northern parcel and the larger, uh, larger parcel to the south? And it's it's a shame they they just indiscriminately are dumping uh, all their brush and their leaves right onto the. Well, it's, it's landscape materials, Christine. Pardon, Pardon me? me. Landscape materials. It looks like household. You know, every time we have a storm when there's branches and brush and everything and it, it, I, I drove to the uh, dead end of Fenway there which would be the one access point yes and, and you can see all dumping along there then I went around and came down on um, what is that Bellingsgate and walked as far as the end star right of way there and all those properties have dumping on them sure so just this is a Full disclosure, not that it needs to be. I've actually owned four houses in that neighborhood, including the one on the corner of Fenway and uh, well, I guess it's Aster. Uh, I can actually play three of them. The fourth one would be at the far end. Mm -hmm. That has been something that the dumping of landscape stuff uh, has always been an issue. That uh, just as you go past Fenway, the entrance to the power lines, they they blocked it off a few times, but it's like anywhere else, there's an easy place to go get rid of it. Yeah. So I, I hear what you're saying. It, it's, unfortunately, it's been going on for at least 30 years. Unfortunately, you know, I, it's because it's not conservation land. No, there are no wetland protection issues there. It's not really um, enforceable um, by certainly this committee or the Conservation Commission. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an unfortunate occurrence, but it, it is what it is. I, I suspect that. Um, DPW is the is the next road of of uh, <laughs> improvement there. To go take a ride down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I was thinking if even sending a notice out, you know, like when the water bill goes out, a lot of our other notices go out as well. If in a, you know, if a flyer could be put in with the water bill saying that you know dumping on town-owned property is illegal. Yeah. Well, something for another committee, but Christine. You might find that there might even be a neighborhood association over there. That, you know, like there's like Crime Watch and all that stuff. So they might be uh, someone in the community in that district that we can talk to. About. We'll look into that. Yeah. Would it be DPW? Would we recommend make a recommendation yeah. to DPW that they follow up on this between Because I think that's legitimate. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kyle is, a, is our okay. Our, okay. Kyle hears it, and we'll take okay. action. <laughs> All right. So we've moved on both properties. Um, just, just, just uh, Chris, was that the vote for both, or yeah, it was? Okay. Was that that was your motion, Jim, to retain mm -hmm. both properties? Okay. Yeah. At this time, right. at gotcha. This time. So that was Old Town House and Christmas Way. Gotcha. Right. The only other item of business I wanted to bring, well, there's also minutes, but Rick can't vote on that, so we don't have enough votes. Uh, the only other, I wasn't here. You, you can you vote on minutes. You can vote on it. Yeah, you just have to like watch, you just have to review the meeting materials, basically. And Susan, I don't think has. We'll do that. Right. Yeah, I wasn't uh, on the board. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so this is the only other thing is we need to submit an annual report for the committee. Um, so I don't know if you guys want to review this or I send it out and people can take a look at it or what. It's pretty straightforward. I just said what the committee is, who it's comprised of. You met four times. 
he recommended for disposition these three. Um, what are you saying, Jim? You want me to scroll? I just yeah. want to see who signed it. Oh, uh, well, it's just based off, you know, it's got all your names. Rick you Bishop. That's all I want to know. Rick, if you're happy with it, I'm happy with it. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Are you happy with it? I'm happy to accept those minutes. Your name <laughs> all right. All right. So we'll, we'll submit the annual report as well. All right. Well, that's that's the only order. Oh, and then just decide when your next meetings want to be and uh, to review the last last few four parcels. When are you ready for us to have another meeting? What's after that? Uh, whenever, really. I, I, uh, I staff the CEDC who meets on, uh, what is it? Tuesdays now, Mondays. I can I can make pretty much anything work, especially if it's at the one o'clock time. Yeah, Kyle. Yeah. And it's, I don't think we need a meeting any too soon. Uh, the remaining properties are properties that the town might very well be wanting to use for uh, affordable housing, the new library, the new fire station, etc. And and until the town decides that they're going to proceed with these projects and where they want the projects to go, I don't think we can release the other properties on, uh, on this list. You know, once the, 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 the town or the selectmen make a, a decision, then we can remove, we could sell the remainder of the properties perhaps, but I don't think we can even move on these properties, you know, until the, the town starts, um, deciding what they're going to do with these projects, the potential projects. Well, I think if I can, Mr. Chairman, yes, sir. isn't that what we're supposed to do first? Exactly. Look at those and say, hey, this might be available for other potential uses, keep it or don't, but we need to look at each one of them to make that decision. That's precisely what I was thinking. And then Thank once you. we just say, yeah, this one may not make sense for anything you've got in the future. Right. We'll make, yeah, you know, I, I, th I think we have a responsibility to get it off of our plate. Yeah. And and move it down the down the road, if you will, and then right. let the powers to be decide whether yes. they want to build another yeah. anything. And yeah, I agree with that, hundred percent. So that's um, third weekend in March, third, the third Tuesday in March. Excuse me, how's that fit for everyone? That, that would be the fifteenth, or we can do the twenty second. Let's do the twenty second, actually. I March twenty second. The twenty second. What um, March 22nd. Okay. You want to keep it at 1 p.m.? Yeah, that works for me fine. All right. I will tentatively say yes. I have a trip planned in that time frame. I'm not sure. Yeah. Taking a vacation. <laughs> I can I'm send out an out Outlook meeting invite if you guys want to get it on your calendars. What? If that helps at all. 22nd? Yes. In my calendar. There you go. Okay, excellent. On that note, can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Um, yes. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. All right. We'd like to be efficient in our meetings. You know, how about that? 19 minutes. <laughs> Would it be 